All right, today I'm going to be going over the Johnson Controls thermostat for your heater and cooling system. Right here I have a Johnson Controls thermostat, and on the front of it, it shows various things such as the time, the temperature of the room, which is 77 degrees, the temperature of the outside temperature, which is 88 degrees, the date, and the day of the week. Right here, it shows it's cooler, override, and warmer, but there are other controls that you can access, and you can do that by taking this door and opening it up like this. And there are a series of controls on the right-hand side, such as humidity, program run set button, fan on off button, mode button, and then there is a hidden compartment which I can access by taking my finger and pulling this latch down like that. And when I pull this down, I have access to emergency heat, set lock button, holiday, accessory status, accessory setup, and setup. Now this particular model is the model T8490, but several other models are very similar to this one, so this may be of use to you. So I'm going to go through the controls and just give you a brief overview of how to use this thermostat. Currently, the heating cooling system is off, and it's indicated right here with the off right here. It says off, so it is all off. In order to turn it on, you have to access this part right here where it says mode. And if I click mode, it goes to heat first. Now, the heat is set at 76 degrees. Now, if the temperature currently in the room is 77 degrees, but if the temperature were to get lower than 76 degrees, the heater would turn on and heat up the room until it got to 76 degrees. Now, if you want to adjust the temperature of the room, the heat, you have a selection right here as warmer. You can make it warmer or cooler until you get to the temperature that you want, and the heat will turn on to get to that temperature and turn off once it gets there or surpasses it. So that is a heater. Now say for instance I want to go to cool to turn the air conditioning on. I'll select the mode button and it goes to cool. The cool is currently set to 72 degrees. The temperature in the room is 78 degrees. So the air conditioner will turn on momentarily in order to get the room down to 72 degrees. The next feature that is up here, if I press mode again, I get to the auto feature. Now, the auto feature is set right here. You can have the thermostat turn on and off depending on the room temperature, whether it's hot or cold. Currently, the cool is set to 72. So if it gets above 72 degrees, the air conditioner will turn on. If it gets below 70 degrees, the heater will turn on. And that's the auto feature. It's great to have to have mindless approach to heating and cooling your room. Now I'm going to go ahead and keep this at cool or actually, yeah, I'm going to keep it at cool and then I'm going to make the selection to where warm it up so it doesn't turn on just so you can see, listen to me. So if it gets, if it gets warmer than 83 degrees, the air conditioner will turn on. All right, it's currently 78 degrees in here. So I'm doing this so the fan won't come on and you can hear me a little bit clearer. So the air conditioner will turn off momentarily. The next feature I'm gonna go to is the fan on off button. All right, the fan on off button is right here. You can turn the fan on where it's on or if it's in auto, excuse me, I meant to say auto, not off. Now when the fan is on auto, the fan will turn on accordingly to when the air conditioner or heater needs to turn on. If you want the fan to be circulating the air at all times, you can press this button and it says fan on. Now the fan on will keep the fan on continuously regardless if the heater or air conditioner is on. I like to actually keep it on auto because I don't want the fan circulating at all times. Uh, the next button that we're gonna go to is the program run set button. If I press it, you can program when you can turn the when the air conditioning turns on or when it's off now say for instance it's program is off okay and then you can go to program set by actually holding down this button 
and then you can set the uh, program set. I'm not going to go too deep into that, uh, but that's how you set the program. You get in there and you can actually set when the air conditioning or heater turns on. Say, for instance, you don't want it running at night or you don't running, want it running during the daytime when you're gone. You can make a selection to keep the air conditioner or heater off during that time. It actually saves a lot of energy. All right. So turn program on. So it's asked me that. I'm going to turn program off because I don't want it programmed right here. And turn the mode back on to cooling. The next button that I'm going to go to is the humidity button. The humidity button is right here. It says use the warmer and cooler buttons to modify the current settings. Okay. So it is humidity. Okay. The set point. I can go warmer. It will make sure that the humidity gets to 7% if I want. Like this, you can change it. Say, for instance, you don't want a really humid environment. You can set it to zero, and it will decrease the humidity as much as possible. So that's the humidity button. Very valuable, especially if you live in a humid environment. It will actually rid yourself of the humidity. Or if you need humidity and you don't want the air to be dried out, you can change that setting as well. So that's the humidity button. Next is the, I'm going to go right here, oh, the humidity button accepted. Okay, humidity, where does that? Okay. Accepted. Humidity at 0%. That's where I want it right there. And the next button I'm going to go to is I'm going to go to emergency heat. All right, so the emergency heat, it turns on when you have the heater on. So let me switch it to heater. Switch it to heat, and then I'm going to use the emergency heat button. Emergency, hold it down, and it says activate, press emergency. And it turns on. Okay, so emergency heat, it will heat it up to the temperature desired. So if I have a 78, press the emergency heat, and it will turn on. So that's emergency heat, I just turn it off. The next is the clock setup. I'm going to go right here where it says set clock. Use the skyboard view edit settings. Okay. Emergency for some reason that's not working for me. Emergency. I'll come back to that. The next is the holiday. You can set up holiday settings, skyboard view edit settings and go to that. We're going to switch over some of these, the forecast, uh, this, the accessory status, we have it connected to Wi-Fi. I'm not going to go over that. That's uh, really in-depth. You might want to check the user manual. You can see the forecast by pressing that. It says 90, 89 degrees. That's the forecast. It shows you the high for today as well as the low for the day. That's very useful. So you might want to check your user's manual so you can actually use the forecast and set up your uh, device to a Wi-Fi. Next is the accessory setup. Once we get out of here, all right, and then there's an actual setup button right here. All right, for some reason, won't get out of there. All right, so the actual setup button use the warmer and cooler buttons to cycle through the available options. Use okay, we're gonna go that you can go through program mode. All right, you can go to seven day program mode, non program one day. You can actually set the date. All right, you can set the date through the, uh, the setup. And all these things right here. All right, so that's pretty much the gist of it. Oh, but I didn't lose you too much at the end. Some of these controls right here require the actual user manual so you can guide yourself through it, like it's, such as setting up the Wi-Fi and setting up the uh, holiday schedule. So that's how you use the Johnson Controls thermostat I'm going to go ahead and close this right up here. This is model is the T8490. Check the description part of the page where I'll leave links where you can easily access, easily access, um, you can easily access some of the controls. All right, so that's the backlight. You can turn the backlight on, off, night, current. There's a lot of options right here. Be sure to check your owner's manual and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks a lot for watching.